welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure okay look <laughs> the end of a tough cycle is approaching you felt like this was just this is just too much but one thing for sure two things for certain you always get through it god always make a way for you god always gets you about them slumps so just like it has before just like things have turned around for the better before things are turning around for the better things are only getting better and you see it happening day by day step by step the end of a tough cycle is approaching and it's already in the works it's already in the works you already see certain things progressing in a more positive way you already see you already see the light at the end of the tunnel <laughs> now you know which way to go you're getting a clear vision on where you want to go what you want to do who you want to be you are <laughs> uh, the end of a tough cycle is approaching things are getting better Finances are getting better. Your health is getting better. Your mindset is getting better. That's something to be grateful for in itself. First and foremost, be grateful for everything that you have at this moment. Because without gratitude for that, the universe isn't going to bless you with more. So be grateful for what you have. And secondly, work towards what you want. Sometimes you have to pull yourself up out the slump. Sometimes you have to have a pep talk with yourself. Sometimes you just got to do things, even though you don't feel like doing it. Sometimes you have to do things and give yourself that energy. Sometimes you have to do things because it's because it's self-love. Like You have to take care of yourself. You have to prioritize yourself. Sometimes you have to put other people on the back burner, on the back burner to make sure that you are taking care of you because if you don't have nothing for you, then you ain't got nothing for nobody else. The end of a tough cycle is approaching. And it's already here. It's already near. You just don't see the bigger picture yet. You don't see the big picture yet. But things are already in the works for you. Things are slowly falling into place. The pieces of the puzzle are coming together. They are interlocking together. This is why things are appearing to be slightly better than they were a week ago, two weeks ago, a month ago, a year ago. <clears throat> this is why. But for real, for real, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> From my observation, it's all a test. It's all a test to see if you really bought that life. It's all a test to see if you really want, if you really can handle what it is that you said that you wanted. You said that you wanted more. So God said, okay, I'm going to give you more. Let's see how you can handle this. Let's see if you can juggle this. Let's see if you can jig with this. Let's see if you're going to drop the ball this time. Or if you're going to pick it. Or if you do drop it, that you're going to pick it up and you're going to keep it moving. Let's see how you really handle this hardship because it may be a little bit harder where God is taking you. And if you can't handle this, then you can't handle what you ask for. There are going to be doors that are going to be opening that you didn't even knock on. The end of a tough cycle is approaching for you. You have put in that work. First and foremost, on a mental level, you're showing that you have the mental capacity to deal with whatever it is that comes your way, that you're not going to strike out, that you're going to keep swinging. I know nobody wants to be tough 24-7. Nobody wants to be tough all the time, and you don't have to be that. But just know that life is going to happen regardless. Things are not going to go your way regardless. It's all about how you handle it. And that's what's going on right now. You're building your mental strength to be able to handle whatever it is that come your way. To not take things so personal. To not take life so serious. 
because as things always do, they're going to work out. So you have to move like things are going to work out. You have to move with that confidence, knowing that you don't know how, you don't know when, you don't know, you might not know what or where, but you know that it will be. You have to have that much faith that no matter what, things are going to work out for you. Quite honestly, that's how I live my life. I wouldn't even lie to y'all. I wouldn't even lie to y'all. I live my life knowing that everything is going to work out. Knowing that whatever I desire, I deserve. And whatever I desire, I'm going to get. One way or another. Unless it's absolutely not for me, at some point, you can recognize that. But everything that I desire, I deserve. And you have to think like that. But you have to feel it wholeheartedly. You can't fake your feelings. You got to truly believe that you deserve it, for one. Because a lot of people don't believe that they even deserve what they ask for. They think that they're not even worthy of it. I just want to let you know that you are worthy. You are worthy of it. You are. You are worthy of being a better version of yourself. You are worthy of having more. No matter who around you don't got that. You are worthy. The end of a tough cycle is approaching. It can be within your relationships. You may see your relationships drifting in the opposite ways from where you where you are. And you it may be tough, but it may be exactly what you need. It may be exactly God said, like, okay, you want to level up, like you want more out of life, but these certain people can't come with you. I'm going to give it to you. But just not now because you got to change your environments. You got to change your uh, mindset. You got to change the things that you're focusing on. God said, okay, look, I'm going to give it to you. But there's some things that got to go in the process. Everybody can't come with you where you're going. Everybody can't ride your wave. Everybody can't drive in your lane. You're not for everybody. And the more that you elevate the more that people are going to fall off and it may suck and it may hurt. The more that things are going to fall off, the more that you're going to gravitate towards new experiences, new habits, new friendships, new family, new love, new vices, new addictions. The end of a tough cycle is approaching but that plan, that pain is going to come before the pleasure. It is going to storm before, like it's going to rain before the flowers blossom. You felt like you was in a dark place. You feel like you may be not in the best place. You didn't even realize that you were a seed. You were buried. You're buried up under the ground. And right now, what's happening? The roots are growing you're you're growing up towards the light it's no way around it the light is there and you're growing in the direction that you need to be growing in and it's so much goodness on the other side it's so much goodness out outside of that dirt it's so much goodness waiting for you but you got to trust in the process you may be thinking like oh i don't see it oh it's not here It's not going to always be there for you. That's the thing. Are you focused on it? Are you focused on the light? Is that what you want? Because we all know what you focus on grows. So if you're focused on the darkness, then it's going to take you a little longer. You're going to stay in that darkness a little longer. That's what's going to grow within your reality. More darkness, more dirt. Somebody going to be throwing more dirt on top of that seed. So while you're trying to grow, more dirt is going to be thrown. But if you focus on the light, you focus on the positive, you focus on being grateful and what you have now, more of that is going to come. More light is going to shine. You're going to get there quicker. You're going to get there quicker. The end of a tough cycle is approaching. I'm so happy for you. (laughs) I am so happy for you. Because we all know, like, we all have our ups and downs, no matter what that looks like. We're not just talking about financially. There's more to life than that. And sometimes we can feel pain 
wholeheartedly. We can feel down wholeheartedly. But just know that you're not going to always be there as long as you don't choose to stay there. So if this video resonates, if it hit different, let me know how so. If you are new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. That is all I have for this video. Stay spiritually you, stay spiritually in tune, and I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.